I just see she said, when you cross me, you lost me. No, there's a video. Oh, Sky Sun Des. I don't watch reality TV anymore, you guys. Sky Sun Des breaks down after his fight with his mother. Yo, watch out. Don't let that control you, bro. I feel like I walked myself into this. Bro, listen. Bro, come here, man. Come here, come here, come here. You were stealing from Walmart. It's inside your soul. You're a thief. The kid is not having to pay through a fraud, you dumbass. Yeah. I hate you. I hate you. I was out with a fraud. I was out with a fraud. She was dead on me. I ain't never had no I could never talk to my mom like that. I want to beat this little boy's ass. I wish I would have heard it. Why ain't swallowing? Wait, what? I'm confused, what? Come here, listen to me. Like the she said, I felt some of Hold on, I have to start. I'm so confused. That's true. ever really tried to come and get me while I was a kid, you feel me? I'll be honest with you, yo. Like, that's just how it is. And I hate to hit you with the reality of life, but sometimes... That's just how it is. You were stealing from Walmart. It's inside your soul. You're a thief. They can't that is so pretty. You fraud, you you were f fraud. What? Hey, she, I wish I would have got it. Oh, she said, I wish I would have got it. I ain't never... talk about um yeah that's this mm -mm. I don't have anything to say about that I just I pray for their healing man I pray for their healing only thing I'll say is you know um we don't see everything that goes on in people's lives guys we don't know we don't know the ins and outs. We know what we're shown. We know the edits. That's all we know. You know. How we as parents choose to respond or not respond. Just to say what's wrong or right for how we deal with our children i mean i don't know i don't know what there's to really say i don't know you guys i don't know why you guys would encourage me to watch that I'm so i'm just i don't have anything to say those are her children that is their history and just because somebody decides to share their lives with us on television doesn't give us the right to interject our negative thoughts and opinions or feelings just support their healing. Let me go get you some change from the car. That's it. Boom. That's it, that's all. We don't need to say anything about it. What's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. That is correct. What I'm saying is I don't get to have an opinion without being put on a blog site or my words being twisted, manipulated, or causing problems. I don't like, and then you have to remember I'm in a very vicarious position because let the world tell it, I'm a deadbeat mom. And I know that that's the furthest thing from the truth. So we don't know what they go through. We don't know, you know, we don't know. I just 
want everybody to be happy. I want everyone to feel love. I want everyone to have peace. I want everyone to have healthy familial relationships, whether they have to part ways to accomplish that, whether they have to seek intensive individual and then family counseling, whatever that may look like for them and whoever them is, you know, just in general. Not only is it not up to us to decide how people should go about that, it's also not up to us to decide when. It's not up to us to decide where they do it. It's not, it's not up for us to decide. I mean, and it sucks because she's a public figure. And after the world empathized with her for her decision, I, even I empathized. And not, and you get it, don't get it. There's sympathy and there's empathy. Um, I completely understand someone's decision to give their children up for adopt, adoption, whatever the reasons are. No matter what the reasons are. I never, I never knew the reasons, but we don't need to know the reasons. I can respect a woman who gives her children up knowing that whatever the reason is she's just not ready that's respectable versus knowing you're not ready and then hanging on to the child you know and so who knows it's just that's their stuff it's just it is it's their stuff it's her stuff it's the, the son's stuff it's the mother son stuff it's the family stuff and I, that clip was what 30 seconds so yeah, right is right, wrong is wrong, but like I said, let the world tell it, I'm a deadbeat mom. Now I know that that's not true, so, you know, I can't, I can't battle, I can't fight millions of people who have convinced themselves that that's who I am, and because I've experienced that, I never want to be that black woman who perpetuates that cycle on another black woman because I have been on TV for so long. So I say that to say, we don't know the ins and outs. I'm gonna keep repeating that. We don't know the ins and outs. We just don't. And So who knows what led them to that point? Hearing what she said is heart-wrenching. That is true. And then, you know, there's the other side of me that's empathetic that says, hurt people hurt people. And pain is non-discriminatory. Pain will not discriminate against your mother, brother, father, husband, son, boyfriend, girlfriend, fiance, boss, grandma, grandpa. Pain is pain. And we all process differently. We internalize differently. We heal or don't heal differently. Therefore, we're going to lash out or not differently. And that's not for us to judge because I'm sure that you know, no matter how bad <clears throat> that may be or sound, you know, for some of you, um, what have you done at times when you were in pain? What have you said at times when you were in pain? Who have you hurt in a moment of hurt? And what did that look like? It may not have looked or sounded like that, so you may feel like, it's not as bad, it's forgivable. But pain is also relative, meaning specific to the individual. If I say, oh my God, you called me and now I can't eat, I can't sleep, I can't do this, I can't do that. To you, it may feel like it's not that deep. It's, I just called you. It's just words. It's not like I beat your ass. But that's how it affected me. Right? So. Sorry, I got beef jerky stuck in my. T 
decir. Yeah, but see, keep it a dawn. Even that comment. Even that comment is insensitive. To say, people just need to learn how to heal and let go. That's not everyone's process is what I'm saying. Respect that. So. Let them go through their stuff, bro. Unfortunately, once it's out there, it's out there. And that will be something that the both of them have to live with forever. It's not ever going away. Yeah, that's what I hope too, Forever Queen one. I hope that, I pray that they heal. Why is my phone glitching? What? 